It's even better than I pictured in my head. My mother-in-law brought me this little plant that I stuck in water and I'm trying to revive it. You see those leaves? Very limp. Hopefully they'll come back to life. These are toothpicks. And then these are the little foam boards, like the letter foam boards that little kids use, you know? I have two little kids, if y'all didn't know. So we just had a bunch of these lying around. So I just have them up on this board and I'm gonna spray them. I've been spraying them with water like in between each one. And then I'm gonna let them air dry. So I have my big squares downstairs blocking. They're drying right now. Hopefully they come out okay. I've never really blocked anything. Um, anything that has like seemed blocked, uh, I've always just like thrown in the washer and then dried it and it's come out pretty nice. Um, right now I'm working on the vines with the leaves. These are the mini leaves that I'm making. Um, this is what they look like. Some of them are kind of messy looking. This project is really teaching me to not really focus on perfection. I'm sorry, you can probably hear my children playing in the background. But this project is really teaching me to not focus on per perfection because I have to make so many of these. Like, this is how much I have right now. I have to make so many of these. Not all of them is going to be perfect. Uh, I sent my husband to the store to get the yarn I needed for this project. I just told him basically what the theme was and like let him go him on like choosing the colors. He did a really good job on choosing this gradient green. I really, really love it. It's really pretty. That's what I used to make the vines so far and to make the um like the I don't know what to call it. I made a bunch of granny squares so that way it could have like a base to connect like all the vines and stuff to. He also got this really big roll of patty green. I think this is a really nice color too. I'm gonna probably use this for the outline of the base and then to also make vines, obviously. Um, these are the mini versions. I have to make uh, quite a few of these and quite a few that have like larger leaves. So that way I can like stagger them and it can look, you know, it'll look nice. I don't want all the leaves to be the same size. He also got me this like army green, like army cam camouflage. It's called camouflage. Um, I'm probably not gonna use it. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really like it. <laughs> I mean, not for this project anyway. It's a nice color, but I don't know how it'll really fit in. Um, and then he got me these two colors for the flowers. I have a lot of pink and like this lavender color too in my closet, so. I'll, I'll be using these mostly and then if I need more flowers, I'll add like the pink and lavender. I was actually thinking about using um, like some of the pink or something for butterflies. But yeah, like I was saying, I was thinking about using like the pink or the lavender color to make some butterflies. Um, hold up. I made this, uh, where is it? I made this butterfly using a Tunisian crochet stitch. It's a little crooked. It's the first, I don't know why my camera won't focus. It's a little crooked. It's the first one that I made, but I think it's really, really cute. So I was thinking about making a couple of those to add to like the vines and stuff. I know I did the poll and asked you guys. Um, it was between the vines with the flowers, the hearts, or butterflies. But I'm just going to combine the butterflies with the vines with the flowers. That'll be really cute. At first, I could not figure out how to make a leaf shape like on my chain like I was starting to get so worried because I didn't want to have to make like a long chain and then make a bunch of individual leaves and like sew it on because that's what I did when I made my crochet cord made every individual leaf and then I sewed it on after I'm really glad I figured out how to do it this way it's just a um Basically, it's a chain three, and then two half double crochets, and then chain two, and then a peacot, picot, peacot, I think. I don't know what it's called. I'll show a little tutorial for you guys. And after the peacot, you do two more double crochets, and then chain three, and then slip stitch into that same stitch. Pretty simple, pretty simple. It's pull my finger. No time for fart jokes. This is business now. Hey, hey, uh, 
Uh, you, you're, um, you're that, you're that kid's older sister, right? Oh, could you be a little more vague? Yes, yeah, fine. I just took the squares off the block and I put them in this order. I think I'm gonna sew them together like this, like kind of like in a dark green to light to light to dark gradient. I was trying to think if I should use this color and I'm not sure cause I feel like it's too deep to like use as a border. Um, I still have some left over from this gradient green color so I think I'm just gonna use that for the border instead. This is how many leaves I have done so far. I haven't been working on this project that long. Uh, I keep getting distracted. I don't know what it is recently. I just haven't felt like crocheting. Well, not that I haven't felt like crocheting. I just feel like I haven't been able to find the time. Like I've been working on this jar, like adding a, adding decals to it or whatever. And I was supposed to be doing a short every single day, but um, it's heavy. Uh, I was supposed to be doing a short every single day or whatever, but I kind of fell off like I think six days ago at this point. So I'll probably wind up doing like just one video adding six more decals to this. Cause like it's a fun uh, little project to do or whatever, but I don't know. The last week or two has been like, I don't know. I just haven't really wanted to crochet like that. I do have a yarn order coming with, that is, I just, that bothers me so bad. And it doesn't help that I don't even, the inside is not even organized, which is making it worse. But anyway, I've said I was gonna make some bigger leaves, but I cannot figure out how to make the big leaves while they're still on the vine without having to slip stitch at the end of each leaf. Cause that takes forever. I'm not trying to spend like another week doing this project. It's a fun project, but I kind of just want to get it over with. I don't know why I feel so stressed out doing this project. Probably because I just don't know how it's going to turn out. Like I want it to look good, but I also don't want it to like, like I don't want it to look bad, but I also don't want to put too much pressure on myself to make it look perfect, if that makes sense. Oh, y'all, do any of you guys watch The Walking Dead? Like, I am so obsessed with The Walking Dead. Right now, I just finished the episode of The Ones Who Live, uh, the, ep the third episode, and oh my god, I love that show so much. A little update on the leaves. They seem to be thriving. They're definitely starting to plump up, and yeah. I'm glad I was able to save it. It's so pretty. I love the way it looks just like hanging here. I need to get some clips so that way I can put it like directly across the top so none of the leaves are touching the actual light bulbs. Okay, so this is what we are looking like so far. Don't mind that it's like wavy and uneven. There were already, there's a mosquito. But there were already screws up in this wall and I didn't want to add like more nails or anything. So I just hung it up as best as I could. I am gonna go get some command hooks and just like put them over on the side so that way it could be like flat and flesh. Um, after I made a border, I made an extra row down here so that way I can connect the vines to the back. But yeah, I think it's coming out pretty cute. I'm actually running out of the color that I wanna keep using. So I text my husband and I'm having him pick up an extra pack or two of that color so that way all of my vines will be pretty and matching because this green color, this green color, though it is dark, it is very vibrant compared to like the rest of the greens and basically like the rest of the colors that I have. So I don't think that I'm, um, I don't really plan on using this one. I know this lighting is terrible. I just got my package from Joanne, so I'm going to open it with you guys. I was expecting it to get here like not as quickly as it did. 
<clears throat> for making sweaters or big pieces, I love using Pound of Love from Lion Brand. I got these two colors, this baby bluish color and this white color because I was thinking about making some type of like spring set. And then I got these two colors of sugar and, sugar and cream. This one is in the color Purple Haze. really pretty and this one is in the color orchid um I got these two colors because I was feeling very purpley very like lavender I guess and I wanted to make some market bags and I also wanted to make like another cotton hat with a really big brim because I've been walking outside a lot recently um I've been walking outside a lot recently and I live in North Carolina so even if it's cold outside the sun is like blasting. I wore a headband for like the first week of me walking and I had like a really bad tan line like right here. Um, you can probably still see it if I were to like you know go up to the camera or whatever. That's why I braided my hair so that way my whole forehead would be out. But yeah I really need to make myself a hat so I'm not like outside burning in the sun. I also realized that after like the first week my cheeks were like my cheeks were ridiculous. They were like just so sunburned and I'm starting to get like dark spots on my cheeks. I've never really experienced dark spots so I don't really know what to do with that. I've been using sunscreen but apparently not enough. <laughs> don't mind me looking greasy i just finished doing my skincare i have some aquaphor under my eyes and like on my cheeks and stuff i'm trying to correct like what going outside has done to my face but so far this is how many vines i have i know it's not a lot but they are really pretty it's coming along um i only have this much yarn left i'm taking a break from crocheting and stuff to send out this sticker this is like the last one of these that I have. I don't know if I'm really going to be making any more. Um, I don't know if I really want to sell stickers anymore, honestly. I'm sending it out in this packaging. It's not the most sustainable, but I have a bunch of them from whenever I started um, selling stuff like two years ago. So I'd rather use it than just throw it away. And it'll keep the sticker safe from getting wet and stuff because I'm just shipping it in a regular envelope. Cause the sticker was only a dollar and I didn't make them pay like shipping costs or anything. And I don't want to pay like $4 to get it shipped. That's, that's crazy. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think I've talked about it in this video yet, but the giveaway has closed. I have chosen the winners. I'm just waiting for them to message me back so I can figure out whether or not they want the crochet kit or if they want a article of like something that I've already made or whatever. Not as many people entered the giveaway as I thought. I had my hopes really high for some reason. Well, not for some reason. You should always have your hopes high. But yeah, not as many people entered the giveaway as I thought, which is okay. I'm really grateful for everyone who did enter the giveaway. I appreciate you guys and thank you for that. All right, I finally got it all hooked up. I have four command strips just to hold up all the weights. I'm gonna start off with this really long leaf chain and then I'm going to add all of these to it. I think I may have to make some more. I want it to be really full, but I'm gonna go ahead and start adding them so I can see how much I actually need. I know I was saying I wanted it to be full, but I kind of like the open look. Maybe I'll add like, well in my head, I was thinking about it being like way more full, like more, definitely more leaves like in between here and then like obviously this film. But I kind of like this open look, so I don't have to like, 
I don't know. I don't want to have to constantly be moving vines out the way to get into my closet. Yeah, I think I like this. It's even better than I pictured in my head. I was pinning up some flowers just to see what it, like how it would look up here and like on the vines and I don't like it. I think I'm gonna probably just leave this the way it is and then um, I have this giant mirror and I do want to pin flowers all around here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Why am I so close? <laughs> yeah, um, yep, so I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. I think it's so cute and I love it. For the flowers, it would have been only orange and yellow. I think the reason that it didn't really look right to me is because it's only those two colors and then green. I just didn't like the color combination, so I'm gonna leave this plain and the next time I see you guys, I'll probably be adding some flowers to this mirror. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.